again, just finished with filming the second tutorial video and now I'm gonna show you uh, the material tab a little bit more in depth I'm still not 100% mastered in it so um, yeah <laughs> probably not the best person to give you a tutorial about, uh, tutorial about everything so then this is the material tab obviously and here are all the parts you have and it shows how many uh, units these parts consist of. In this case 29 from 0 to 28. Here's the name of your part obviously in Japanese and English there's nothing in English but in Japanese it's just material one. Here are the three squares uh, that you can change the color of. Um, so I'll blow the sweater now <laughs> otherwise uh, it will be a little hard for me to show you. Um, yeah, screw the freaking fixing it to her body, I don't care about it right now. I just want to show you the texture thingy. I'm going to be showing you stuff on the sweater. Now, I'm not sure if it works with textures. I mean, I don't remember if it works with textures, but uh, let's start with this opaque thing. So right now it's 0 0.9999. Now, if, it, if the opaqueness is um, 1, that means mm, it can't seen through but let's set for example zero <laughs> zero it's definitely um, transparent like so um, not transparent it's gone so let's say 0 0.1 it's very transparent 0 0.6 yeah it's kind of transparent so yeah a bigness I'm pretty I'm sure you understand what it means I don't think it matters what what number above one you put it will still be the same let's say bigness level eight uh, I don't think it's much different from one yeah reflect yeah this reflect thing is related to this uh, middle square here um, this middle here middle square here adds shininess so I don't know if it's um, if it works well with the parts that have textures, but let's try. So let's say you you can ha you can set any color as a shine. You don't have to set it always to white. Black means that it's not shiny at all. So let's put pink for example. And what's like zero? Okay, it's not working on the sweater. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna change it to black. But let's say this uh, bra thing. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Okay. Here is the her bra. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's say we set uh, shininess as pink. You probably can't see very well. I can see only very little. So let's set it to zero. It's not showing <laughs> at all, but usually zero is very glossy and stuff. And if you go further and minus is getting glossier and glossier. And um, if you add like one and above it, then it's gonna be like this kind of matte-ish shine or something. L let's. Uh, change the texture of the bra a little bit. La yeah, see now now it's showing better. Um, yeah, let's for example set shininess as eight. See, it shines a little less. So if you put zero, it shines a lot. It's not like very glossy, but it shines a lot. And if you put like minus four, for example, it's very glossy and shiny. So, if you don't want it to shine that much, just put one. Or if you don't want shine at all, just set it to black. Now, what are these two diffuse and this thing? I don't know really what their difference is. I just play around with colors and stuff. They just basically 
are like two colors that you mix and get all kinds of different stuff. Just, um, yeah. Sometimes it, it doesn't do really well and stuff. If you, oh yeah, if you put the same color in the two boxes, two different boxes, it's gonna give you the exact same color as is shown here. Uh, so what else? I don't know what this sink is. Is does does it mean? I don't know. Let's see what it is. Mm, okay, I have no idea what it is. Drawing. Again, I don't know what this is, but it probably is not very important to you if you're starting. <laughs> Just um, yeah, edge is the outline that I showed in my other video so you can just add it on the drive and the, oh yeah okay, I can see it now you can change the size of the outline um, and also the color of it um, what is what is this I don't know let's see what it is I have no clue <laughs> And let's go back to the sweater. So obviously texture here, obvious sphere file. Now sphere files are I don't even know how to explain what they are. But basically, um a lot of people use it to add some kind of like shine to like special kind of shine to the models or something. Uh, but I've also seen some uh spa or sphere files uh, having like actual textures like like floral or hearts and stuff and they look like and they looked like very very spherical to be honest but I've also seen the spa and spheres as uh, B and B files so that was very confusing to me I have no idea how and why is it possible but yeah also I have no idea what this texture thing you oh. hello what are you doing can I draw change texture edit an external editor open with view size any change current texture interesting <laughs> so I guess it lets you change the texture. Again, I don't work with this that much. I'm not no, I'm not a professional. <laughs> don't really ask me. I guess this thing goes for the spa file and sphere file. Holy crap, what the hell is this? Open, change texture, and blah blah. Yeah. Um, okay, here's the add sphere invalid multi-sphere subtext. Invalid, that means the sphere is not gonna appear on your part. Multi-sphere and add sphere uh i I don't remember what the what the difference between them was and subtext it's like again, I don't remember what it may was do you have any okay uh yes. I mean we can test and see what whoa 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 <laughs> slow down no. My well, laptop is very laggy. So invalid means it's not gonna show multi sphere. It just I think it like the sphere uh, m like takes over or something. <laughs> I can't explain it so hard. Add sphere just means well, it adds this kind of shine or whatever it has. And sub texture pretty much turns into a texture I believe. Or something. Tunes. Now these are basically like shadows. Like look at her face, for example. This line here. So this is what a tune does. So let's find her face here somewhere over the rainbow. Okay. Here. So yeah, you can also change tunes here, add your own tunes and stuff. 
but let's see what the defaults are like. So no tunes obviously means nothing. Tune one has this gray shadow which looks very creepy on this model. This one has this kind of uh, pinkish shadow that doesn't look very good on this face. Third is also this kind of ooh, gray color, darker than the first one I think. Yeah. Fourth one is uh, also the pink one, well, this kind of beige one. Uh, what the difference? Oh, okay, the second one is uh, darker, fourth one is lighter, fifth one, I don't remember what it was. Oh, it's actually very, very ni nice. Sixth one is glossy that I don't recommend using unless you intend to. For some reason, it's, it's very ugly in my opinion. And seven and so are just empty slots that I usually use uh, to put my own my own tunes. So, for example, yeah, I don't know if you can actually uh, add the tune if you have this minus here. Let's try. So, this face had Hara tune. Uh, what PNG or BMP? No PNG. Or not? No BMP. <laughs> Just a PM in Japanese BMX it changes like automatically. Here you have to click like instantly, not automatically. Yeah, so it had not a tune. Oh yeah, okay. So, so you can add it when it's like minus thing, but I re but I recommend you uh, choose like tune like say seven and then add the name hot a tune BMP. So it, it won't get lost. So yeah, for example, you click here. There's nothing there anymore. You click tune seven, and apparently it, it disappears as well. For some reason, I remembered it actually saving those. Hmm, interesting. Again, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, I thought, oh, okay, yeah, 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 right, right, right. So let's say there's this tune five. It's gonna show what it's. What it looks like. I don't know. I size setting, sizing, okay. I don't know. You probably can't edit it here, so. Yeah. No, it's. I honestly have never seen anyone write here anything. But who knows? Maybe. Maybe you wanna write something here. By the way, sphere files or spa files, they can also be used as textures. Like I already said that I've seen somebody have like floral patterns or some something and they looked very spheric on stuff. And the sphere file is actually very easy to make. Um and I have actually made a ton of those. So I'm gonna close this, I'm not even gonna save this model. Um Close this model part. Oh yeah, if you're a starting user in MMD, uh, I suggest you um, sort your files. Don't be like me that has 910 files in one folder. Yeah, it does take me a little while to find all kinds of textures and dresses and shirts and pants and shoes and everything. Don't be like me. Be organized. So, I'm sorry, I'm just going back to uh, the Japanese PMX. It's not important right now. I'm just gonna show you what kind of sphere files I have made. So, let's go here. I have made a ton. The reason why is because I wanted to make a Tita version of Uni because I really like Uni uh, it's a, and I wanted her star that it's on her chest or her neck um, but I didn't find any cool textures so I thought oh I'm, I'm gonna make a cool sphere file <laughs> right um, let's for, for example put fast till four, uh, whatever and this is what it looks like. It looks very glossy and stuff. And yes, I made it. You can make any colors you want. But I've mostly seen like metallic stuff. Metallic textures being used there and stuff. Like I also have this um, matte, matte here. 
Matt. Matt. Well, yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's kind of like matte ish metal, but it's also like shiny. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to make this. Teleport to the picture editor. Okay, since I don't have Photoshop or GIMP or whatever, I'm just using Sumo Paint online to make uh, textures or to edit them. So, s making sphere files, you just have to. Uh, well, the usual size is uh, 256 by 256. And. What I use, I use this gradient full tool. I don't know what it's like in those other editors you use. Um, pretty much, I believe it's a lot better than what I use here. I'm just gonna use like these pre-made gradients here, and then just all I'm gonna do is just drag them and stuff. Um, let's try to put it in the center. That looks cool. <laughs> Probably not very symmetrical, but who cares? Now, let's say a spiral. I can't spell. Save this to uh, model parts. My. So, as you can see, this is like a normal texture and all these are SPH. Also, I don't know what the difference is between SPA and a sphere, SPH files. I just mostly use sphere files. I think one was like darker and another was, was lighter or something. I don't know. Now, how to make sphere files? It's very easy. All you have to do is just go to View, File Name Extensions, check that. Right click, rename, rename this second part to SPH or SPA. I'm gonna put SPH, enter. Are you sure you want to change this? Yes, I do. Now, you probably want to uncheck this thing. I'm just gonna hold. And ta da! You, th there's your sphere file. Let's see what it looks like. Probably looks very stupid. <laughs> Ooh! That looks actually very cool. That's how you make sphere files. Yeah. Now, tunes. Um, tunes are mostly also like gradients, but um, the top part of the gradient is almost always, if not always, white. And, uh, and there's just some color at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the, the folder that I have tunes that I downloaded. Um, tune pack. By Swagmare. <laughs> so yeah, they have made these tunes that look like this. It's a really nice pack here. So yeah, that that's what tunes look like. Oh yeah, there's those kind of square kind of tunes. Like I said, almost always uh, white at the top. Here's some pink uh, tint to it. And I guess that is all for now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you kind of in some way. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried my best. I'm not a good teacher in any way. You probably have to look for other tutorials out there. But right now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a nice day. And see you in my next video. Which will be kind of soon. And it's kind of exciting. Not related to these yet. But still kind of exciting. And bye bye.